Hello everyone, and welcome to the April issue of Power Semiconductor's weekly newscast. Today I will share with you some exciting events on the way. We will explore what the European Space Agency is up to, and also we will need to decide on the top Power Semiconductor's brands. Besides, as usual, I will share with you the top 5 industry news that the readers of the Power Semiconductor's weekly platform found most interesting in March. Besides the media platform, you can always track the news on LinkedIn page. I also remind you, if you want to see your news on a platform, you can always send it to news at powersemiconductorsweekly.com. But remember, all news should be related to power semiconductors industry. And now let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Discover the power electronics industry's thriving landscape at the second Power Electronics International Conference and Exhibition on April 16th to 17th in Brussels. With soaring sales of silicon devices and explosive growth in silicon carbon and gallium nitride technologies, the industry is filled with optimism. Join Power Electronics Conference for two days of insightful talks and panel discussions, where you will delve into the factors driving the industry boom and address emerging challenges. In addition to enlightened conference sessions, Power Electronics International Conference offers networking opportunities to connect with industry leaders. With three conferences, over 700 delegates, over 80 exhibitors and 120 presentations, and extensive networking possibilities, this is the premier global event for compound semiconductor and power electronic technologies. Discover the latest innovations and information about electrical components all the way from electric motors to drive inverters in automotive applications. Join the two days event that will be held in the House of Technology in Essen and will include multiple presentations, tech talks and discussions with representatives from Mankel Engineering, TDK Electronics and MIBA Group. This application seminar will help you define and solve the issues you might have with the technical specifications and requirements of the electric motor and electronic components in the inverter, both active and passive, including cooling. Recently, the European Space Agency started its search for the technological advantage to improve their systems. Led by research fellow Dr. Ariza Balaga, the project is aimed at studying the latest semiconductor technologies and exploring the impact they can have in the future in the space industry. During this research, Dr. Ariza Balaga is looking forward to answer the following questions. Which are the next system-level figures the space power industry wants to achieve? Can the wide-band gap semiconductors help to achieve these figures? And which semiconductor ratings are demanded by the space power industry for each application? At the moment, the research project led by Dr. Ariza Balaga is focusing on the silicon carbide power semiconductor devices, as they are better suited to the requirements of the high power applications. The research team has already had several meetings with the main European space power companies discussing the points of interest mentioned. As a result, the European Space Agency received a rich feedback with industry requirements and new ideas. The European Space Agency research team is looking forward to support the successful adoption of wideband gap power semiconductor devices by the European space power industry, giving the European industry a competitive edge. What power semiconductor brands come to your mind when someone asks you to recommend a manufacturer to build stronger relations with for years? In March, I published the poll to define the best of the best in a world of power semiconductors you will be able to choose between 45 market players. In this survey, you can choose multiple answers in different categories based on the certain criteria. The survey will help to find out the names of the top power semiconductor brands, and the results will be shared in the next newsletter. This survey is 100% anonymous. Your help to share this survey and involve more industry colleagues to vote is highly appreciated. You can find the link to the survey on Power Semiconductor's weekly LinkedIn page. And now let's check the top 5 industry news that the readers of Power Semiconductor's weekly found most interesting in March. 
Novel Crystal Technology, a global leader in gallium oxide technology, has successfully grown the first 6-inch gallium oxide single crystal using the advanced vertical bridgement technique. This achievement marks a significant step forward in novel crystal technology efforts to deliver larger, high-quality semiconductor wafers for gallium oxide-based power devices. Gallium oxide is a promising material for power electronics due to its ability to significantly reduce power loss compared to commonly used silicon carbide in high-voltage applications like electric vehicles and renewable energy systems. Infineon Technologies opened a new chapter in power systems and energy conversion and introduced the next generation of silicon carbide MOSFET trench technology. The new Infineon second generation 650V and 1200V CoolSeq MOSFET improved key performance figures such as stored energies and chargers by up to 20% compared to the previous generation without compromising quality and reliability levels, leading to higher overall energy efficiency and further contributing to decarbonization. CoolSeq MOSFET Generation 2 technology continues to leverage performance capabilities of silicon carbide by enabling lower energy loss that turns into high efficiency during power conversion. This provides strong benefits to customers for various power semiconductor applications such as photovoltaics, energy storage, DC EV charging, motor drives and industrial power supplies. CG Power and Industrial Solutions, Renesis Electronics and Stars Macroelectronics had recently signed a joint venture agreement to establish a joint venture to build and operate an OCSD facility in India. The joint venture brings together unique capabilities of the partners with a vision to make in India for the world. CG Power, with around 86 years of manufacturing expertise, is keen to build semiconductor capabilities and ecosystem in India. Renesis, the leading semiconductor company headquartered in Japan, will provide advanced semiconductor technology and expertise. Stars Microelectronics, a type-based OSAT, will provide both technology for legacy packages, training and enablement. OnSAM announced the formation of the Analog and Mixed Signal Group, which will be led by newly appointed Group President Sathir Gopalswamy. The group will be focused on expanding OnSAM's portfolio of industry-leading power management and sensor interface devices to unlock an additional 19.3 billion US dollars total addressable market and accelerate the company's growth in the automotive, industrial, and cloud end markets. Additionally, Simon Keaton has been promoted to group president of the Power Solutions Group. His leadership has been instrumental in delivering more than 4 billion US dollars in total revenue last year, while ramping a profitable silicon carpet business that achieved over 800 million US dollars in revenue in 2023. Siltronic plans to gradually cease production of polished and epitaxial small diameter wafers at its bulk house inside. The process, which excludes unpolished wafers, is set to be completed in the course of 2025. Siltronic currently produces wafers with a diameter of 300 mm, 200 mm, and wafers with small diameters of up to 150 mm. The small diameter wafer technology was developed primarily in the 1990s and earlier. The most significant technological breakthroughs in recent decade have been achieved with larger diameters, which also show the highest growth potential. An average volume growth of 6% per year is expected for 300mm wafers. And that's a wrap. Thank you all for your time today and see you next month. Stay tuned and follow the latest Power Semiconductors market updates at PowerSemiconductorsWeekly.com and PowerSemiconductors Weekly LinkedIn page. Have a great April!